iCloud, a backup service, a cloud sync services, or just another Apple lock-in? Is it actually saving your data or just syncing it? Most people don't really know how it works. But if you're using iCloud the wrong way, you could be wasting storage, losing money, and even putting your personal data at risk. In this video, you'll finally understand iCloud like never before. You'll learn exactly what iCloud is, how to set it up the right way to get the most out of it, something most people don't do, and the biggest mistakes to avoid. Plus, we'll cover the must-use iCloud Plus features, when to opt out, when to upgrade, and whether it's really worth paying for. Let's get started iCloud is Apple's way of keeping your data seamlessly available across all your devices. But there's one big misconception. iCloud is not a traditional backup. Instead, it's a sync service, meaning any changes you make on one device instantly apply everywhere else. Think of iCloud as a giant storage locker. Your devices don't store all the data themselves. Instead, they act as windows looking into iCloud. This means your photos, contacts, notes, and files are stored in iCloud and can be accessed from any device or even a web browser at iCloud.com. Some data, like iCloud Keychain, Messages, and iPhone backups, are only accessible through Apple devices. Your device keeps a temporary cached copy of synced content, but not necessarily the full version. So the question now, can iCloud be used as a true backup? Yes, but only if you turn off syncing for certain services. By default, iCloud syncs your data, but if you disable iCloud Photos, iCloud Drive, Notes, and other syncing services, iCloud starts functioning as a full backup tool instead. This means your device data is stored securely in iCloud without syncing changes across devices. When setting up a new device, you can restore everything exactly as it was. According to Apple, iCloud helps keep your data safe in two main ways, syncing and backing up. If you're using iCloud Photos, iCloud Drive, or Notes, your information automatically syncs across all your devices whenever you make a change. Any data that isn't regularly synced is stored in your iCloud backup, which takes periodic snapshots, making it easy to restore on a new device. What happens when you delete something? Here's the catch with iCloud syncing. Deleting a photo, contact, or note on one device deletes it everywhere. Accidental deletions are permanent unless restored from the recently deleted folder within 30 days. If you turn off iCloud for a service, Apple will ask if you want to download a local copy before disconnecting. Let's talk about setting up iCloud across all your Apple devices. To get started, make sure you're signed in with the same Apple ID on each one. That's the key to keeping everything in sync. Once you're signed in, you can choose which apps and features you want to sync to iCloud. On your iPhone or iPad, open Settings, tap on your name, then select iCloud. From here, you'll see a list of apps and features. Tap any of them and turn on Sync This Device. If you want to see more, just tap See All, then toggle on anything else you'd like to sync. All right, now let's slow down for a second because this next part trips a lot of people up. iCloud Photos. When you turn on iCloud Photos, every change you make, like deleting, editing, or adding new photos, happens across all your devices. Deleted a photo on your iPhone, it goes to recently deleted and stays there for 30 days before being permanently removed. Now, here's a smart feature, optimize iPhone storage. This is on by default when you sync photos with iCloud. Let's say you have 100 gigabytes of photos. Instead of filling up your iPhone, it saves space by keeping smaller, lightweight versions on your device. The full resolution originals stay safely stored in iCloud. Need the high quality version? Just tap the photo. It downloads in seconds, ready to use. If you ever see sync paused, don't worry. Just tap sync now. Also, make sure low power mode is off and you're connected to Wi-Fi or cellular. To check your sync status, go into the Photos app, tap your profile picture in the top right, and you'll see it right there. Now, if you're thinking about turning iCloud Photos off on one of your devices, remember, it stops syncing new content and that device won't get photo updates from the cloud anymore. So before you do that, be sure to select Download and Keep Originals. That way, you won't lose any full res files stored in the cloud. In brief, if you want to turn sync on or off for your content, 
Open settings, tap your name at the top, then go to iCloud. From there, toggle the switch next to the content you want to manage. If you're turning sync off, your iPhone will ask if you want to delete from this device or keep a copy. Make sure to choose the option that works best for you. Now let's talk about iCloud Backup. iCloud Backup includes all the information and settings stored on your device that aren't already synced to iCloud apps like photos, notes, or contacts. To check or enable it, go to the iCloud page in settings and tap iCloud Backup. Then turn on Backup This Device to enable automatic backups. You'll also see a small status dot. Green means your device is fully backed up, and you'll see the date of the last backup. Orange means the backup is paused. Gray means your device hasn't been backed up yet. To manage or customize your backup and choose which apps are included, tap your device name under iCloud Backup. Then tap Show All Apps. From there, you can turn off backup for any apps you don't want to include. It's a great way to save space and focus only on what matters to you. Let's shift over to another iCloud feature that Mac users often overlook, desktop and documents folders in iCloud Drive. When you turn this on, your Mac's desktop and documents folders are uploaded to iCloud. That means you can access those files from any device, iPhone, iPad, or even from iCloud.com. It's convenient, yes, but it also takes up iCloud storage. And if you delete something from your Mac, it's gone from iCloud too. Here's how to turn this feature on or off. Step one, click the Apple menu and open system settings. Step two, click on your name at the top, then tap iCloud. Step three, select iCloud Drive. Step four, now just check or uncheck desktop and documents folders. Turning it on uploads those folders to iCloud. Turning it off moves them back to your Mac, usually into a folder called iCloud Drive Archive. All right, last thing. Some files in iCloud Drive might show up on your Mac, but they're not actually downloaded. If you see a little cloud icon next to a file, it's stored online. To download it, just right-click and choose Download Now. Want it to stay local? Right-click again and select Keep Downloaded. That way, even if you're offline, those files are still right there on your Mac. Most people think iCloud is set it and forget it. But did you know simple mistakes could lead to lost data, wasted storage, or even security risks? Let's make sure you're not making these common iCloud mistakes. Mistake number one, assuming iCloud backs up everything. Most users believe iCloud automatically saves everything, but that's not true. By default, iCloud doesn't back up some third-party app data. Take WhatsApp, for example, as per WhatsApp's guidelines. You have to back it up manually from within the app itself. To check that, open WhatsApp. Then tap Settings. Next, tap Chats. Then choose Chat Backup. And finally, make sure backup is enabled. Otherwise, you may back up your entire device but miss WhatsApp. If you have iCloud Drive turned off, the app will ask you to enable it. So enable iCloud Drive and backup WhatsApp from the app settings. Mistake number two, wasting storage on old backups. iCloud often keeps backups of old devices, even ones you no longer use. These can eat up your limited 5 GB of free storage or your paid iCloud plan so fast. Here's how to fix it. Open settings. Tap your name, then tap iCloud. Then tap manage storage. Tap backups. Select and delete any old device backups you don't need anymore. Mistake number three not managing iCloud storage efficiently. Letting iCloud fill up with junk files slows everything down. Common culprits, downloads from Safari, old documents, and duplicates across devices. Here's how to fix it. Open the Files app, look for iCloud Drive, then sort by size and clean out anything you no longer need. Also, go to Settings, tap your name, then tap iCloud, then choose Photos, then tap Manage Storage. Tap Review Photos and Videos. You'll see duplicates, old screenshots, and more. Again, clean out anything you no longer need. Mistake number four, not verifying Find My iPhone. If Find My iPhone is turned off, you won't be able to track your device if it's lost or stolen. Even worse, 
If you sell your phone without disabling it, the new owner won't be able to activate it. Here's how to fix it. Open Settings. Tap your name. Then, tap Find My. Make sure Find My iPhone is turned on. But what if you don't have access to your device? Maybe it's lost, or you already sold it. You can still turn off Find My, track the device, or even mark it as lost remotely. That's exactly what I cover in a short two-minute video. Don't miss it out. Check the link in the description below. Now that we've covered the common mistakes, let's go over a few powerful iCloud features that most people overlook. Feature number one, hide my email. Tired of spam and privacy issues? Hide My Email lets you create random, disposable addresses that forward to your real inbox. Protect your real email when signing up for websites. Block trackers and unwanted marketing. Create unlimited aliases for free. Here's how to use it. Go to Settings. Tap your name. Then tap iCloud. Next tap Hide My Email. Then tap Create New Alias. Or, when signing up on a website, Choose the Hide My Email option if available. Feature number two, use MailDrop for sharing large file. Sending big files over email, MailDrop makes it simple. You can send up to five GB per file, no extra apps needed. Works directly inside Apple Mail. Sends a download link instead of attaching the file. The recipient doesn't need an iCloud account. Here's how it works. Just attach a large file in the Mail app. MailDrop activates automatically when the file size exceeds the standard limit. Feature number three, iCloud Private Relay. Want to keep your online activity private? Private Relay hides your IP address and encrypts your traffic, making it harder for websites and advertisers to track you. Keeps browsing private in Safari. Blocks location-based and profile tracking. Works automatically once turned on. Here's how to turn it on. Go to Settings, tap your name, then tap iCloud, then tap Private Relay, and switch it on. Feature number four, access iCloud from anywhere. Even if you don't have your Apple device with you, you can log in at iCloud.com to manage your data remotely. Check your iCloud email, calendar, and contacts. View or download files from iCloud Drive. Use Find My iPhone to locate or erase lost devices. Try it now. Go to iCloud.com and sign in with your Apple ID. Once you're logged in, you'll see a clean grid of app icons, just like on your iPhone or iPad. Here's what you can do. Mail check, reply to, or delete emails from your iCloud inbox. Photos, browse, download, or delete images in your iCloud photo library. iCloud Drive. Open saved files, rename them, upload new ones, or move them to folders. Contacts view, add, or edit saved contacts, or export them as a backup. Calendar. Check upcoming events or create new appointments. Notes, view, and edit all synced notes, even from a browser. Find my iPhone. See your devices on a map, play a sound, mark as lost, or erase if needed. It's like having your entire Apple ecosystem in your pocket, even when your actual devices aren't with you. So is iCloud actually worth using? It depends on how you use your devices. iCloud is great if you have multiple Apple devices and want seamless access to your data. It keeps everything in sync automatically, so your files are always available no matter what device you're on. And if your phone is ever lost or stolen, your data is still safe in the cloud. But iCloud is not ideal if you only have one device. In that case, local storage might be better, and you assume it's a backup. If you delete something, it's gone everywhere. So before you rely on it, make sure you really understand what iCloud is and what it isn't. And before upgrading or canceling, ask yourself, how are you actually using iCloud? Looking for more tips like this? Click one of those amazing videos and keep watching.